This example for all these reeds is about filling a swimming pool. A rectangular swimming pool, 12 meters by 10 meters, is being filled at the rate of 0 0.8 cubic meters per minute. So this is the rate of change of volume. How fast is the height of the water rising? So we're looking for the rate of change of the height. So we have dv by dt. We want dh by dt. And we know the dimensions of the swimming pool, the length and the width. When possible, we should try a sketch. So let's see if we can get a bit of a diagram. We can start. See if we can get a rectangular swimming pool. Okay, so there's our swimming pool, or thereabouts. Okay, there's our swimming pool, and we want to figure out how fast it's filling. So we know this is 16 meters here and 10 meters there. We want to know if water is going in 0 0.8 cubic meters per minute. How fast is the water inside going up? Water is rising. We want to know how fast. So this is dv by dt. And we want to know dh by dt. This question has more fixed values than questions we've seen in the past, so we'll actually be able to use the 10 and the 16 to make this a little more straightforward. First we need an equation for the volume, and we need to relate the volume to the height. So the volume of a rectangular prism is the length times the width times the height. Now, if we differentiated in here with respect to time, we'd have to remember the product rule. Each piece we'd have to assume at that point would possibly change with respect to time. However, we know that the width and the length are both fixed here. They're constants. So we can substitute those in immediately because they don't change with respect to time. When we differentiate here, we only have to differentiate the variables that can change as a function of time. So we can start by replacing the length and width with 10 and 16. And we have to keep the height because it varies with time. So at this point, we can substitute anything that stays constant. Okay, So that gives us the volume equals to 160h. Now, if we differentiate with respect to time here, we get the derivative with respect to time is 160 times the derivative of h with respect to time. We know the change in volume with respect to time. We want the change in height with respect to time. So we substitute in the given information and we can solve. So we're going to put 0 0.8 in for dv dt. That's going to equal 160 dh dt. And if we divide by 160, we get 0 0.8 over 160 equals dh dt, or dh dt equals 0 0.005 meters per minutes.